when you do this or you pull your, your fingers and you make a cracking sound, it's an issue of dispute among scholars when you are waiting for Salat, you're not in Salat, when you are during the Salat, and when you finished and concluded your Salat. The most authentic opinion is that it is disliked and not recommended before the Salat and during the Salat. There are hadith that are not authentic. However, the jurors who consider weak hadiths better than their analogy or their logic, they would consider this to be safer rather than sorry. So they apply this and say before the congregation and during the congregation, this is not recommended. We would not go to the extent of saying it's not permissible, but it is not recommended. Specifically and especially while in the Salat, because this is a sign of not concentrating. I wouldn't say disrespecting, but it is inappropriate act. If you're standing in front of someone of dignit a dignitary, uh, 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 for example, or someone who's wealthy that you're expecting him to give you something, or you, uh, someone who may appoint you for a job, you wouldn't yawn and look around carelessly while he's talking to you and crack your fingers and do inappropriate things. No, you would stand in respect. Allah Azza wa Jal has the highest example and we should do this as well. After the prayer, there is no problem, none whatsoever, because the jurors who claim that cracking fingers or crossing your fingers is disliked, they don't have evidence to back this up. Rather, the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, when the Prophet ﷺ prayed the dhuhr or asr two instead of four out of forgetfulness, in the hadith it stated that after the prayer was over, the Prophet went to the pulpit, he crossed his fingers and put his right cheek on it as if he was worried or angered by something. So crossing his finger after the congregation, there's nothing wrong in that and also uh, um, uh, cracking your fingers as well.